This is Dubious Insights, and today I want to show you the driving game I have made uh, that I will turn into an AI driving game, but not yet. So last time I showed you steering this car, uh, driving this car, and so now I've added, you know, what are the other, what I think the other two elements are to make it a driving game. And simply, um, it needs to be able to do collisions. So if I hit a wall, it needs to stop instead of just going straight through the wall. So that's, you know, if I hit the wall, bang, it stops. And I need to uh, have some way of putting input into the AI. So how I'm doing the AI is I've, much like what I've seen other people do, I've added radar lines. So when the AI drives, it's going to get back the length of these lines, uh, which it can then use to determine, you know, what it wants to do. Uh, it's, you know, the AI doesn't actually get input for what uh, the full game is. This is me driving, not the AI. I'm, I've not implemented an AI yet, but, you know, this is basically most of the steps. The AI is not going to be able to see the screen. That would be you know, like a million pixels, way too much input for how I know how to do the AI. So I'm giving it, I think I have seven lines in front of it, three lines behind that it will be able to use to determine what it wants to do. I also give it input like its speed, its angle, uh, what it's steering at, and some way of telling whether it's actually going up, whether it's going the correct direction or whether it's going, you know, the, the reverse direction. But effectively, this is what the AI is going to see. It just sees, you know, the length of these lines, and it's going to have to figure out what it wants to do with it. Now, of course, I kind of know, you know, I know I drew this map, so I know what the shape looks like. I know I'm kind of go around this curve, but it is not easy to do this as a human. But it's definitely possible. So the AI is going to need to figure it out, um, you know, or that generate or that one in the generation won't survive. And this is how I did collisions. Uh, it has a little bit of work that could be done on it, also, but it does mostly work. Basically, the uh, car sprite has a box drawn around it, and anytime a part of that box uh, is going to hit something a black pixel, it's going to... Yeah, I got myself stuck. Um, it'll go to a dead stop, and then I usually will have to back off. Um, here I'm showing the lines path lines. I found that it's this is quite a difficult game without putting in path lines on there to do as a human. So as a human, I'll probably have an arrow. However, I think that having the full circle radius of where you're going to go, this makes it a bit too easy. Um, so I'll probably make this when I, you know, if, it's, if human ever plays it, have a arrow pointing which direction you are going, but not the full, uh, you know, 360 degree circle of where you'll end up at every point in the future if you don't steer differently. But yeah, if we hit something, you know, now we now we can't go forward. We hit, we collided, so now we need to back off. Um, there's probably better steering that could be done, or better collisions that could be done. You know, if I scrape along the side of something, I shouldn't need to go to dead stop, and maybe I just take damage in the car. But right now, even if I you know bump something with the side of the car, yeah, if I scrape along the side, I'm still gonna come to a stop, but you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. So yeah, this is, this is my driving game. Uh, the next step is going to be, and somehow I got myself stuck, okay. So the next step is going to be to add the AI. I think the only things that are missing are uh, the AI, the actual mutations and AI itself, as well as some way of keeping score and, you know, knowing if the, which, version of the AI is doing well and which one's not. So we need a scorekeeping, basically that's going to be distance along the path, and we need to implement the AI itself, uh, and that's going to be a mutation algorithm that I've used in the past that's slipping my name at the moment. Alright, but this is Dubious Code, thank you for watching.